What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here. So the other day I was scrolling to Pinterest and I saw this image and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, it's really an impressive, uh, an impressive view. I really like the way it looks. It shows off the interior of a building through 3D and it also hides the exterior. So it kind of concentrates on that kind of core interior of the building. I think it's a very powerful 3D view. And I thought, well, why not show how something like this can be done in Revit? It's actually possible to do something like this in Revit. It is a little bit difficult. It does require a couple of workarounds, but that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you in today's uh, video. Now, if you want to learn more about Revit and especially visualization in Revit, I actually have a whole course on graphics in Revit. Uh, you can find it in the description, just the first link in the description. It takes you to my website. There you can check this course out where I kind of cover all of the important things that you need to take into consideration when it comes to the graphics of your Revit projects. Also there on that website, I have many more different courses that cover different topics in Revit. There is over a hundred hours of material, video tutorials. So if you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to start. So as I said, first link just below the video. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I make useful Revit tutorials each week, so it makes sense not to miss those. And finally, make sure to like this video. Uh, it helps me promote the video to other people that might want to see it. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. Uh, now, this is the project that I'm going to be using. Uh, as you can see, this is the office building project. And I actually have a whole uh, dedicated course. I think it's around 15 hours. And I take the, uh, well, <laughs> quite a long time to explain a step-by-step -step process of uh, designing and uh, modeling a building such as this, along with all of the necessary project documentation, uh, all of the complete uh, floor plans, sections, and so on. So if you're interested in checking this out, I do actually have a uh, whole course on this building up on my website, balkanarchitect.com. Uh, so this is the main rendering that I have created and now we're going to be creating a different rendering to show off the interior and then we're going to be creating that uh, cool kind of 3D uh, section cut, kind of a two-way section for our interior. Uh, now we do have to render that and because unfortunately the tools that we want to use are available to be used for renderings but not for regular 3D views. Uh, I don't know why, this is something that Revit could perhaps fix in the future, but for now we don't have that ability. Anyways, uh, let's go here to the project browser, uh, and then uh, what I'm going to do is open up the, the, the just the regular default 3D view, this is what we have, and then uh, what I'm going to do next is just create a uh, section box. So you want to go here to the properties panel, scroll down and find the extents, and on the bottom, we have the section box. You want to check that on and a little section box will appear or all around. And then you just want to bring that in on all sides. Just like so. Uh, now, in this case, we have this annoying uh, little uh, gizmo in the middle of the building. And I don't want to see that. So I'm just going to get rid of that simply by going here to the visibility graphics overrides. Going to edit here, you want to find the site. So if you want to turn this off in your project, you just find the site and then you find the internal origin. Check that off, hit apply. Okay, perfect. Okay, next let's go and readjust uh, this. So I'm just want to see, well, I do want to have just a little bit of a section here, just looking at how much I want to see. Perhaps let's go like this. Next, I want to capture the stair because I think the stair is usually a really kind of interesting uh, element or part of the building to capture. So let's see, something like this could work. There we go. And then obviously just readjust those, uh, the section box like so. Uh, finally, uh, one important thing is uh, I want to hide uh, both the levels in the section box so you can hide that 
or in this case we might not even have to hide it because we're going to be rendering this and obviously they won't appear in the rendering itself. Uh, now you want to mask off uh, as much as possible when it comes to this view because you don't want to render things that are not going to be visible because then well it's just a waste of your computation power. So what you want to do for rendering uh, is just go here to the view tab and then here we have the render panel but before we do that let's crop the view. So you go to the properties panel, you turn on the crop view as well as crop region visible, hit apply, there we go. And as I said, try to kind of mask out any portion that you don't want to see. So I'm just going to go like that perhaps. Yeah, that could work. I can go even a bit further up and then go up to here. Okay, so for this particular model that I'm going to be working with, I think this is going to be more than enough. Okay, so uh, once I have this kind of finished, now it's time to render. So uh, let's go here to our render button. It opened up on a second screen for me, so I'm just going to drag it over here. Uh, uh, for the rendering settings, I'm going to set it as a medium rendering. I'm going to set this to printer, and then let's keep it at 150 DPI. Uh, the reason for that is I just want to make it quick for this tutorial, uh, but usually I would render at least at 300 DPI, so just keep that in mind. So if you're doing this for, for a presentation, uh, definitely go up to 300. Anyways, let's just hit render and let's let Revit uh, give us a really cool rendering here. And here we go, our gorgeous rendering is completed. So uh, let's go here to the image section of this render dialog. And instead of exporting, you want to save this to your project, just like so. You can name it whatever, let's call it the 3D section. hit enter, close out of this, and now you want to open up that rendering. Now those renderings appear here in the project browser and you just want to go down, down, down and find here 3D section, open it up and this is what that looks like. Now uh, it's actually quite easy to get your uh, 3D section now because you simply have to mask off everything that you don't want to use. Uh, now in this case, uh, for that, we're going to be using the uh, masking tool, which is here on the annotate tab. Uh, here we have the region tool and we have the masking region, so just check that and there we go. Uh, you just want to use the simple lines here and then let's start from here, click once go all the way down to this run for example then I'm going to go like so go up to here perhaps and then let's go up to here now if at any point it doesn't want to snap to where you want to go you can use the tab key and then Revit kind of allows you to be a little bit more precise just click the tab key once let's go up to here go all the way up to the ceiling perhaps then let's go back go to here let's go up and actually I want to capture one more floor so let's go to here go to here yeah like that go back. Uh, now here I'm just going to extend it like so. I just think it's going to look a little, a little bit nicer than to have this little upper edge. But if you want you can. Ah, let's actually do that. Let's let's follow the building. Let's not fake it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go like this. And there we go. I'm just going to readjust this line up to there. Perfect. So once you have this, you still don't have a mask. What you have to do is create a rectangle going all the way around the entire rendering, just like so. Uh, now for the lines on the inside, you can just select them all and I'm just going to turn them to wide lines like this. And then for the outside lines, just hold the control key, select all of those and you want to switch these to invisible lines. And then when you hit finish, it's going to look something like this. 
and there we go we have this really really cool 3d section i think it looks interesting i think it takes a little bit of a different approach to showing off the inside of the building uh, perhaps a little bit more isolated approach where you just want to show kind of the the path or something like that so i, I do really like this and uh, please tell me in the comment section below what you think about this but i think it's a really easy and effective way to achieve a cool look in Revit. But obviously you can modify it if you want a little bit or perhaps add something else perhaps you can add just a thin detail line let me try something so just a thin line here i want to see how that would look so perhaps something like this could add a bit more dimension or perhaps not oops be really careful what you select here anyways let's select these two there we go Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, actually, it's uh, quite quick uh, just to show how to do all of this. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you like this effect. I hope you use it in the future. Uh, please tell me in the comment section below, do you like it? W will you use it? Uh, and uh, also, uh, please check out my courses. Uh, I have many different courses on many different topics. So check out BalkanArchitect.com. That's going to be the first link in the description. And if you actually want to get this project file, this really cool building, uh, you can find that on my Patreon page. That's the second link in the description. So check that out if you're interested as well. Make sure to comment, like, and share this video. Make sure to subscribe. And of course, I'll be back in a few days with another Balkan Arctic tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.